Some of the books... No, this doesn't. You're a brave man, my friend. Seville STS now offers OnStar, the interactive communication system there to help you 24 hours a day. Can I follow you? No. I mean, because if we're going in the same direction, uh -uh. otherwise I'm going to be a little lost. No can do. Weather. Every day it moves and changes. There's something happening somewhere. And we bring you all of it in Weatherscope, the day's top weather stories, with live on-the-scene reports during major breaking events, up-to-the-minute forecasts for the nation and specific regions, and fascinating insight that lets you understand exactly what's happening and why. Weatherscope. It's all the weather you want. Every 30 minutes, on the hour and half hour, on the Weather Channel. In this half hour, WeatherScope, a comprehensive national forecast. At 40 after, TravelWise gives you the latest on travel hotspots. Then the weekend outlook. And at 50 after, the storm update. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast. And good Monday morning. I'm Lisa Moser. Here at the Weather Channel, we are monitoring a developing nor'easter this day after Easter. It will be exploding today and bringing tremendous snows to the northeast and New England areas. Places in central and southern New England could get one to two feet of snow by this time tomorrow. Now, while New York City could get as much as five inches easily overnight tonight, strong winds are another byproduct of this monstrous system. Boston and some coastal areas down through the mid-Atlantic could experience some hefty wind gusts up and around 60 miles per hour. There's a lot to this system. We'll be bringing you all of the details, so do stay tuned. We go right now to the Shirl we go to Cheryl Lemke in the forecast center. Good morning, Cheryl. Thanks, Lisa, and a good Monday morning to you. Well, it seems as if Mother Nature is playing an April Fool's joke one day early. That's right, most of us may be gearing up for a nice springtime, but in the Northeast, we have some throwbacks to winter. A very intense and a very powerful and a potentially dangerous winter storm looks as if, as, it, as if it could be unfolding for the Northeast in the next few hours or so. And with that, there is the potential for some very heavy, wet, slushy snowfall, maybe well over a foot for some locales, and also a chance for some very dangerous winds, winds at times approaching hurricane force. Again, the storm is still kind of in, in its embryo stages, but it will be developing and developing rapidly, we think, later this afternoon. Well, right in the path of this potentially dangerous storm is our very own Rick Griffin, who's been up in West Andover, Massachusetts. Good morning, Rick. What's the latest? Well, good morning to you, Cheryl. The latest is we continue to have a light snow or rain and snow mix uh, falling here just north of the city of Boston.
by about 15 miles. And we're watching for the snow to gradually intensify as the day unfolds, as that low pressure system uh, off the east coast begins to strengthen very rapidly. Now, earlier we talked to, to a snowplow operator whose job it is to clear this big parking lot here in Andover, Massachusetts. He tells us all his crew uh, is, is ready to go, and uh, if need be, they'll be spending the night in those office buildings behind me back there just to make sure that they're on the scene and ready to go uh, tomorrow morning. Right here in Essex County, Massachusetts, a blizzard warning is in effect. Same for Middlesex County, which is just down the road to the west. And also for Hillsborough County, which is up in southern New Hampshire, not too far uh, from here. So with a blizzard warning in effect, we do expect conditions to rapidly deteriorate later on today and overnight tonight especially. At the moment, again, there's a wet snow falling, but since it was so spring-like yesterday, about 65 degrees here in the Boston metro area, the snow is essentially melting as soon as it contacts the, uh, the pavement and even the grassy surfaces uh, are not showing any signs of accumulation. Traffic appears to be flowing normally at this time. However, later on today, we expect the roads to become slushy. And overnight tonight, if the blizzard conditions develop, it could become a nightmare on the roads here in the Boston metropolitan area. And we'll be here to cover the storm live for you. In addition, very strong, if not hurricane force winds are expected along the coast, that could be another developing uh, major weather story that we'll keep you up to date on. Right now, back to the studio. Cheryl? Thanks, Rick. Definitely looks like a possibility for a very dangerous and a real nasty storm for the Northeast. And uh, we appreciate you weathering the storm for us. Again, that was Rick Griffin reporting live from West Andover, Massachusetts. And as Rick was alluding to, so far it's been basically rain, although now turning over to some snowfall around the Boston metro area. We've also had reports, too, for some snow around Worcester, Mass, and a rain-snow mixture for Lawrence, Massachusetts. But again, the turnover should be taking place throughout the day today. As we check out the latest water vapor imagery, we can see the various components to this latest winter storm. Our main surface low is still located just off the mid-Atlantic coast, while at the same time we've had a big piece of energy, an upper level low that's been dropping down from the Great Lakes, now pulling its way over towards the eastern seaboard. And that upper level low will help to energize the storm system even more so during the day today. There's our low again just off the coast. It's been pulling in moisture from off the Atlantic. At the same time, too, colder air wrapping in behind our storm system. And what a tremendous change of pace for those of you in the Northeast. We've had the record and near record warmth over the weekend around Bridgeport, Connecticut, a record high of 66 degrees on Sunday. Today, though, turning markedly colder, temperatures dropping to the 30s. As the temperatures start to fall off, the snowflakes will be flying. We've had a lot of moisture being drawn in from the Atlantic, and there's been some soaking rain so far today across New Jersey, around a Caldwell in Newark, New Jersey. Still raining, too, for New